Hey yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be determining Mr. Royal Rumble. But you guys, uh, the viewers, will be the one voting for it. While we fill out this tournament at the WWE, is currently running all over social media as we head into the upcoming Royal Rumble. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's see. So I saw this on a WWE social media account. So right now, I think all the way onto we get the Royal Rumble or a couple of days before the Royal Rumble, they're running a poll. And that poll is who is a Mr. Royal Rumble? And this is kind of like the little tournament that they're doing. Uh, so on the right side, we got the Master Eliminators, basically the superstar with the most eliminations. On the left side, uh, we got the greatest uh, winners, basically the ones with the most wins and all that stuff well this is not the most wins but this is uh, just some of the massive wins so what we're gonna do right now with you guys help yes you guys the viewers we are gonna figure it out who exactly is uh, mr royal rumble yes that's mr royal rumble all right we're gonna start off which side you guys want to start off are we starting off with the greatest winners or master eliminators um let's start off with the master eliminators all right, first matchup that we got on the Master Eliminators side of things, we got Kane taking on Rey Mysterio. Now, you guys know me. I absolutely love Rey Mysterio, all right? Absolutely love Rey Mysterio. The 2006 Royal Rumble where Rey won it is literally probably my favorite. I'm gonna go with Kane because Kane appearances in the Rumble over the year has been insane. I feel like Kane got a couple of more of those than Rey Mysterio. But it's not up to me, it's up to you guys. Oh man, Kane is winning by a landslide. Oh brother. Come on, kid. I'm gonna vote for Rey Mysterio because you guys are voting for Kane way too much. But it's kind of obvious that Kane is gonna win this one. And honestly, I feel like Kane has been screwed by WWE in the Rumble. He should have been winning, bro. Like, you know, like he should have been winning a Rumble like multiple times already from all the eliminations that he gets and everything else. It gotta be Kane. Up next, we got uh, the Vic Show taking on a uh, Braun Strowman. I'm gonna go with Braun Strowman on this one. I feel like because the Big Show was on the same era as Kane, I feel like a lot of time Kane just outshined the Big Show in the Rumble, even though Big Show was the bigger man. You know what I mean? Like the giant in the match. Let's see. 75% Braun Strowman, 25% the Big Show. So this one was kind of easy, honestly. At least, at least for me. I mean, I love the Big Show, but yeah, Braun Strowman definitely takes it over here. Up next, uh, the third match on round number one for the Master Eliminators uh, side of things. We got uh, the big dog, Roman Reigns, uh, taking on Brock Lesnar. All right. This is, this is a hard one right here, bro. Now, remember, uh, Roman Reigns does have more eliminations than Brock Lesnar for all-time eliminations. Is it going to be Roman or Brock or Lesnar? I think it's going to be really close, bro. I think it's going to be really close, especially after last year's performance by Brock Lesnar. Bro, I mean, bro, but Brock did want it during the Attitude Era, though. You know what I mean? Like, Brock won it during the Attitude Era, bro. That got to mean something nowadays, you know? It has to mean something, bro. I feel like when we did watch Roman in the Rumble, we really hated Roman. You know what I mean? Like, his character. WWE just pushing it down. And based on the performance from last year, I'm going to go for Brock. You guys said Brock at 71%. Roman Reigns at 29%. Up next, we got The Undertaker versus Edge on the last matchup for the Master Eliminators side of this uh, Mr. Royal Rumble tournament. Get those votes in right now. With Edge returning, I'll be honest with you guys, with Edge returning, I wanna pick Edge. The Undertaker, it feels like The Undertaker just been on every single Royal Rumble. Obviously he hasn't, but it just feels like, at least as of late, Undertaker did make some pretty cool moment. Going face to face with Brock, Goldberg, Roman Reigns, John Cena. 
All right, let's check the results right here. Who wins? We got Undertaker 53%, Edge at 47%. One vote of difference. Wow. Dude, so far, guys, we kind of been agreeing on things. This was kind of close, though, honestly. On the left side, we got the greatest winners. Our first, the first matchup is a big one. Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on Drew McIntyre. Now, for me personally, this will be an awesome match to see. But I cannot go for anybody else but Stone Cold. I mean, I love you, Drew. You know? I love the massive victory. Stone Cold is literally the only person in here to win it three times. A lot of those times were really memorable. And uh, based on the poll right now, 93% of you guys said Stone Cold Steve Austin. So that is definitely a decisive win. That is, that is the most obvious win that we got in so far. Up next, we got Batista taking on John Cena. Both of them won it twice. I'm going to go for John Cena on this one. I'm going to go for John Cena just because John Cena is still giving us more memories. When it comes to the end of the Royal Rumble, like the final four, if John Cena is in the Rumble, he's going to be in the final four and all that type of stuff. He also made a massive return. I mean, Batista also made a return, but John Cena return was insane, though. Was that the one from Madison Square Garden? Dude, the place for us freaking bonkers, bro. So the next matchup, we got Hulk Hogan taking on Triple H. Like, I personally will pick Triple H just because I just remember Triple H in it more, you know? And he just have more presence in it, at least for me, in my opinion, you know? You guys, it says 80% Triple H, 20% Hulk Hogan. So Triple H takes a dark cake on this one. Up next... We got Shawn Michaels versus uh, Randy Orton. Oh, man. I mean, how many RKO out of nowhere have we seen in the Royal Rumble, though? But we are talking about Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania himself. And then how many Shawn Michaels have we seen in the Final Four? We've seen it a lot of times. And obviously, he won it twice, too. So. Ooh, Okay. HBK with 65%, Randy Orton with 35% votes. Okay, you guys have spoken. Shawn Michaels is the one. Shawn Mike, you know, it's come to think about it. I'm going for Shawn Michaels too. Screw that. <laughs> Shawn Michaels versus Randy. The battle two were hard. Shawn Michaels versus Randy and Undertaker versus Edge. That was difficult. That was difficult, man. The Shawn Michaels spot where he is with one feet on the ground. Oh, my God. I'll give it to Shawn Michaels because he won from the number one position. That is true. Okay, you see, I forgot about a lot of that. Here we go. To the Master Eliminators uh, bracket side of the thingy thingy. You know what I mean. So, Kane defeated Rey Mysterio. So now, in the semifinals, we got Kane taking on Braun Strowman. Get those votes in. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going for Kane 100%. 94% of you guys said Kane. 6% of you guys said Braun Strowman. All right, so for round two, Master Eliminators on the right side. First matchup, we had Kane taking on Braun Strowman. And you guys decided that Kane is the victor. And I 100% agree with that. Um, moving on to the second match on the Master Eliminator side of things. We got... Well, for round two, we got Brock Lesnar taking on The Undertaker. Round two, match number two, we got Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. The Undertaker wins it here based on the viewers' vote with a 53% and 43% goes for Brock. So it is at The Undertaker advancing. We're going to get brother versus brother. Now we're going to switch it over to the left side. We got the greatest winners. Um, as we got the round two of this one, it is a uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin for the first matchup taking on John Cena. John Cena never won three. The answer is Stone Cold. What? 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 
So Stone Cold Steve Austin wins this one with 92%. John Cena takes home 8% of the vote. It is HB Chitlow taking on a good old Triple H. And honestly, Shawn Michaels' performance wasn't popping up. But then chat reminded me of some of the great moments that Shawn Michaels given us. And in this one, I feel like that without a doubt, Shawn Michaels is the one that needs to advance on this one. Let's check the votes. We got 93% to Shawn Michaels. 7% to Triple H. Damn, Triple H. Sean, John Cena took more votes than you. What happened, brother? There it is. We are officially in the semifinals. On the left side for the greatest winner, we're going to be seeing a Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on Shawn Michaels. On the right side for the Master Eliminators, we are going to be seeing Kane taking on The Undertaker. Let's get those votes in. We're gonna, we're just gonna stick on the left side and see who advances already for the master, for the greatest winners. This is where it gets tough. This is where it gets tough. I agree. I am gonna go with Stone Cold Steve Austin though. Not only winning the Rumble those three times and then going into WrestleMania, giving us some of the best WrestleMania matches uh, and some of the best like WrestleMania in general and him being the main focus of it. All right. Stone Cold Steve Austin with 79% vote. HBK with 21%. On the semifinal of the Master Eliminators, we got Kane taking on The Undertaker. Kane defeated Rey Mysterio and Braun Strowman. And then The Undertaker defeated Brock Lesnar and Edge on a heck of a match. So for this one, Kane versus the Undertaker semifinals again. Um, I I gotta go for the for Kane. I it gotta be Kane. Let's uh, go ahead and check uh, those uh, votes. It gotta be Kane with the ninety four percent. Taker only got six percent. Looking at the bracket, it feels like it was set up for us to get Kane versus the Undertaker. That is exactly what we're getting. So we are in the finals of the Mr. Royal Rumble Tournament. Master Eliminator bracket side, we got Kane winning it. The greatest winner side, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin winning it. In the finals, it is Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on Kane. Who is the winner who will be Mr. Royal Rumble? But a Kane versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. I'm going to give you a hell yeah and say that Stone Cold wins it, at least for me, on this one. Voting says Stone Cold Steve Austin got 92% of the votes. Say what? And Kane got 8% of the votes. Say what? Stone Cold is uh, the winner on this one. You guys say it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Honestly, I say it is uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? Stone Cold Steve. What? Stone Cold Steve Austin. By God, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. If JR was here, man, that is a slobber knocker of a tournament that we just had. It is that uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Give me a hell year in the chat if you agree on it or if you don't agree on it. It's okay, too. Nonetheless, the majority rules up in here right now. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is a Mr. Royal Rumble tournament winner. So he, he is Mr. Royal Rumble. We need a championship or something to give him for that.